Squatters broke into our house whilst we had popped out to the shop. We only went to get some fairy liquid and soon found we had been occupied by squatty dodger gremlins. Hundreds of the things. I think they were Czechish or Romaniac or maybe Hungarian or Bulganian or some sort of putrid mutated combination of all of them sat there headbutting the Queen's photograph, rearranging the fridge magnets to quote Karl Marx. It was an orgy of sweary, beerish, Sid viciousness. One of them was just sat there. Not paying taxes. They've tortured our dog. They've eaten our baby. Suck hypodermic needles into our Chloe's Barbie dolls boss. Chanting our name in some strange incantation. They've gained legal rights to turn the place into a crack den. Shivery and golem like scared of the sunlight. Turning our home into an Amy Winehouse suicide fetish voodoo cesspit. It's like having a fortune read by a Daily Mail columnist. They're lurking in bins. They're prowling the streets. These people don't want to live in empty buildings. They want your home, so don't leave. Stick CCTV on all of your cat flaps. Get your hedgehogs to start a neighborhood watch. Install barbed wire on top of hedgerows. Grant powers of arrest to garden gnomes. Turn your clotheslines into electric fences. Fit your raised beds with laser sensors. House your guinea pigs in gated communities. Make it illegal to squat empty buildings, punishable by a term in Her Majesty's prison. Actually, forget that. That, that would be totally unreasonable. Put surface-to-air missiles on top of bird tables. Papier mache a giant impenetrable dome around your home using shredded up Daily Express newspapers. Squatters broke into our house whilst we had popped out to the shop. We only went to get some fairy liquid. Now we have to live in the shed. <laughs>